Alhamdulillah, we have our brother here, Devante. May Allah Azza preserve him and bless him, as many of you know, that he embraced Islam, Alhamdulillah. And he's a Muslim. And I just wanted to talk about something that's very important and beneficial. The attribute that he chose, the name that he chose as a Muslim is Abdul Wahid. And it means the servant of the one. From the names of Allah, the names of God is Al Wahid, the one. And that's a beautiful name. He is one. God is one. And that's the beauty of Al Islam. We believe in one God, we worship one God. The Lord of all of the prophets and the messengers, the Lord of Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, every prophet, the Lord of all of the creation, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and we worship him alone. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah, the one, he is one. Islam, it teaches us to be the best version of who we are, to try and complete ourselves, because as Muslims, we want to complete ourselves. But also, we have to help those who are around us. And mashallah, the brother, he invested in the area that he's from. We see that that's something that we're trying to do also in Philadelphia. Why? To help others that are around us. Even you as the youth of the community, you all have a role. You guys are the future of tomorrow. You guys are going to be the teachers. You're going to be the leaders of tomorrow. You're going to be, whether it's in sports, whatever you choose in life, you're going to be the future of tomorrow. But in order to be the leaders that you can be, you have to be prepared for it. Islam blesses us. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG, and this is the top of the podcast, man. Make sure you bundle up, make sure you stay warm. Right now, I'm cold as a motherfucker. I'm sick. Drinking this ginger tea right now, just trying to stay warm. Even when I go out back outside, I gotta bundle up. So if you go back outside, make sure you bundle up. It is cold out there. And I don't want none of y'all getting sick. Make sure you take your vitamins as well. You know what I'm saying? Because that prevents you from getting sick. You know what I'm saying? I'm even mad that I'm sick right now, but it is what it is. But let's get into this blog right here, man. This blog is about Javante Davis changing his name to Abdul Wahid. And also changing his religion as well. Now, a lot of people's like confused because they're like, yo, where's this coming from? What's going on? Well, we all know Javante Davis has been private about his life, especially, you know, his beliefs, you know. And it seems to me that he, you know, he had a spiritual, he had a spiritual, like, I would say, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to fig, f figure out the right word for it. He was enlightened. He was enlightened. He was at peace. You know, and we all know the brother's Christian, but I guess, you know, he wanted to change his, uh, he wanted to change his life over to Muslim. He was like, yo, listen, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, we see peace from other things. And right now, you know, who knows? Probably the nation of Islam grants him peace. You know what I'm saying? Probably the good word of Islam grants him peace. So we can't fault the brother. We can't be mad at the brother. Because I've seen a couple of people mad. Well, what you mad about? You know, that's what he chooses to do. You know, with himself, with life. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, I'm happy for him. Because it looks like he received peace. You know what I'm saying? It looks like he's, you know, calm, at, you know, at peace with himself. It looks like he's, you know, he's trying to receive guidance as well, too. You know, so it's it's a blessing to see that he's trying to change his life for the better. You know, we, we should all try to change our lives for the better, better. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, what he chooses to become is what he chooses to become. So if he chooses to become... Christian, he chooses to become Christian. If he chooses to become Muslim, he chooses to become Muslim. You know what I'm saying? But that's what he chose, man. And we can't get mad at his choice because his choice is his choice. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Abdul Wahid, you know what I'm saying? For, you know, being himself, you know, loving himself and taking the time to, you know, seek peace. You know, taking the time to 
change his life for the better and, you know, work, you know, for the betterment of himself. Because let's be real, a lot of guys, you know, fall down a slippery slope. They get caught up in the glitz and glamour. And, you know, they lose sight of themselves. They lose sight of, you know, their peace. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like he's seeking that again. It looks like he's seeking that peace. And he found the peace. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, obviously that peace is Muslim. You know what I mean? So definitely let me know how you feel about this kind of low. You know, definitely let me know how you feel about this kind of low. Do you feel like, you know, Javante is at peace with himself. He's, you know, happy because I feel like he's happy. He looks happy. You know what I'm saying? He's enjoying himself. You know, he's with the youth. She trying to teach him from right or wrong. And, you know what I'm saying? He's being guided by the good brothers of, you know, Islam. So, you know, it's a good thing. You know what I mean? I know some of y'all saying, you know, this is a cult. Nah, it's not a cult. Being Muslim, being Muslim. Just about like being Christian and being Christian. At the end of the day, your religion is your religion. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you want to support, if that's what you want to convert, that's that's on you. You know what I mean? So, hey, it is what it is. I'm happy for the brother. I hope y'all happy for the brother. Definitely let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. This is your boy OG, and I'm out.